This video assumes you've already got your paper 2D character ready to go. I won't be covering the initial setup as this is a very niche subject. The first step is making some variables to detect movement direction for the flips. We want to make a boolean to check for facing right. Match its state to your sprite direction and it should be facing right for best results. Next up are a couple of variables for player direction input. I set these directly after my input access nodes so that they can be used elsewhere more easily. I also make sure to set the face right bool to true so that the character starts the game facing the correct direction, that being to the right. Second step is face direction detection. We want to add a couple of branch nodes and we'll hook up the conditions, that being greater than and less than nodes. Use these to set our face right bool and now when we move left and right we've got a variable that tracks it. Next up we want to lerp the paper 2D sprite scale when we change directions. So we want to grab the sprite component and get its relative scale 3D. We're then going to want to lerp this on two separate branches, one for face right and one for face left. We want to then feed the return value into a set relative scale 3D node. Last step is setting up the conditions for our two branches. So to avoid flipping happening without player input, we're using both our face right bool as well as our move right input variable we created before. So we want to hook move right into a does not equal node and an and node. When this condition is true, we want to lerp towards 1, 1, 1, aka face right. Else, we want to be facing left. So I handle this by grabbing a not node and making it its own branch check. We then want all this to be connected to an event tick node. It's at this stage you should have proper flipping when you move left and right, minus animations and such, but if not, then you may want to go back to the beginning of the video and retrace your steps. That's it really for a basic setup, but if you'll lend me a bit more of your time, I'll show you some extra setups I made. So for a bit of extra polish, we can make it so that the flipping occurs only when you're on the ground and not in the air. To do so, let's start in the movement area, wherever our code may be and grab our character movement and drag out its is moving on ground. Hook that up to a branch node, and if it's true, allow face right to be set to true, but if it's false, then we'll want to bypass our bool altogether so that it's not updated in, in the air. Do the same in our flip handling code and put it right before we check for anything else. So, if it's true, start the face direction check. If it's false, use another branch to set the sprite scale using face right. If all went well, we now have a character sprite that appears to flip when changing directions with the added polish of only doing so when on the ground. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. If there's anything else you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment down below.